Holy. Evil, hello! Thank you so, so much for inviting me for a collab today. You're coming with me. I won't bring hell to you. <laughs> I'm so excited! I can't wait! I'm ready whenever you are. I'll let you take the first step, though. You're leading the way after all. Of course, of course. So I think we could try opening a portal. I'm confident in my ability to open a portal just as confident as I am at harpooning. Yippee! That's perfect, that's perfect. So, yeah, I can't use my hell magic yet, but if we open a portal by other means, then we'll be able to go. And, um, uh, we need to go outside first. Uh, should we head out to, uh, the park, maybe? Sure. Let me just grab my harpoons first. Maybe grab some other stuff and put it in your bag. We need a full inventory for our adventure. Harpoons. Lots of harpoons. Then pack as many miscellaneous items such as my UV lamp, my knife, you know the essentials. Of course, of course, all the essentials. Okay, are you ready? Let's go outside. To start, and uh, to make our portal, I'm just gonna draw this summoning circle on the ground. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready, let's go. Whoosh! Whoa! A, a purple summoning circle appears on the ground. And it's got, it's got bones on it, and it's got like hearts and stuff, and it's very cool looking. That's a cute summoning circle. But for our ritual to open the portal to hell, we're gonna need five items. Um, I'm gonna pick three now, okay? Okay. Can't wait to see what you pick. Hmm, I've got a spooky skull, uh, a cursed cupcake, and my favorite bone. Those sound like good items. Do you think we need a UV <sighs> lamp? Oh, maybe. So we need two more items to, to, to open the portal. One of them should be special to you. Do, do you want to choose two things? Well, let's see. Let's take my UV lamp and also the harpoons I packed earlier. Feel like they're your both UV important lamp. here. Okay, okay. So, let me grab your UV lamp. Uh, I'm just getting it now. Um, um, um. UV... Did you check my bag? Yeah, I got it right here. This one, yeah? I've got three in there at least. Oh, nice! I'm glad you have extras. It looks kind of like a regular lamp. Is it definitely the right one? If it's purple, pretty sure it's right. Oh, if it's purple! The purple one. Yeah, they're all there. I definitely overpacked, though. Okay. There we go. Yep. Definitely, definitely got the right one. And then, what was the other thing you wanted to add to the summoning circle? My harpoons, of course. Your harpoons? Not all of them, though, surely. Do they all fit in the circle? I think you only need to use one. Can you pick the prettiest one? <laughs> but they're all pretty. Okay, eeny meeny mini that one. Evil was a nice harpoon. That's the one I forged recently. It's called Gates of Hell. Gates of Hell is perfect! It's perfect for our summoning circle. Okay, can we start the ritual now? Uh-huh. Yeah, we can. So now that we've got our five items, uh, we need you to say some magic words so that we can so that we can open the portal. So did you want to go ahead and, and say some magic words? Here we go. Bibbidi bobbidi boob. Wait, that's how I turn people into ducks. <laughs> Quack. Did that help? How many fingers am I holding up? Quack! Quack, quack, quack! Maybe I should just commit to it and turn you into a duck. <laughs> quack, quack, quack! Quack, quack, quack! Quack, 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 quack! Oh god, I think I actually turned you into a duck. I didn't mean to. Quack, quack! Quack, quack, quack! What have I done? Please, someone help me. This wasn't meant to happen. Quack! Quack! I guess ducks can't open portals. 
I am not Nurosama. Quack? Okay, I'll tell you the truth. I'm incredibly lonely, and I wanted an animal I could talk to. It's nice to meet you, duck. <laughs> quack, quack, quack! <laughs> I'm back! I shook off the duck spell for now. Anyways, you let's get back to, to opening that portal. You Damn, talk to me. I kind of liked you better when you were a duck. Well, well, if I was a duck, we couldn't do all the stuff today, because I don't know if ducks can open portals. How do I do the magic spell that you were doing without turning someone into a duck? Okay, I can teach you, just follow my lead. Bibbity, bobbity, gates of hell. Okay, okay, okay. Should we try it? Should we should we try and do it? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Bibbity, bobbity, gates of hell! <gasps> oh my god, I think oh it my worked. Goodness. It worked! It worked! It worked! As you said the magic words, a deep, otherworldly hum filled the air. The ground be began to tremble and a swirling vortex erupted from its center. Tortured screams echoed from the depths of the portal and the warm glow of hellfire beckoned us in. We stepped into the portal and, 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 and now we found ourselves sat at the top of a mountain overlooking a sea of lava and lost souls. Wow, this is beautiful. Makes me want to turn you into a duck again. <laughs> no, please. I don't know if ducks like this climate very much. I'd have to be a hell duck. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. A hell duck. That's the next <laughs> animal I need to learn to summon. Ooh. If, if you could summon any animal right now, would it be a hell duck? Or would you summon something else? I think I'd summon a hell cat instead. That way Ooh. I can have a cute cat and take it to hell with me. Will will a will will a hell dog suffice? Do you mean yes, a hell cat? <laughs> no, no, I'm a I'm a hellhound. I'm a dog. Now I want to summon them both. We need some <laughs> friends to come with us. <laughs> do you wanna Do you wanna maybe play a game while we look around? Sure. What game do you wanna play? Hmm. As it's so cool looking here, maybe we could play I Spy. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with D. Hmm... Is it... Uh... D death and Destruction? Close, it's actually ducks. Turn around. Huh? Oh my gosh, why are they duck? Are they hell ducks? <laughs> I summoned them <laughs> just for you. Okay, they can join us on our journey. They can they can be our little the start to our hell army. Yay! An army of ducks is a good start. What should we name them all? Hmm I like cute names. Like can we name one Biscuits? Biscuits is an adorable name. How about <laughs> another being Quackers? Quackers! It sounds like crackers! Biscuits and quackers. I've always wanted little ducks called Biscuits and Quackers. Can we take them home with us? Maybe if they wait here, then when we go back, we can take them with us. As long as they wait here patiently, I suppose. Let's keep exploring. Okay, okay. I spy with my little eye something beginning with... Uh... S. Look at those little guys. The ducks? Nope, it's actually souls. You better be careful you don't become one of those. <laughs> it was! It was souls of the damned! You got it! Nice. Okay, your turn. I spy with my little eye something beginning with C. Um, um... Is it Saba? Nope. It's actually cats. Look over what? there. Hell cats! I want to summon them too to join our army. <gasps> Good idea. How do you want to summon them? Bibbidi bobbidi whatever. I forgot how to spell. <laughs> Careful, you nearly turned them into ducks. <laughs> it's okay. It's a pretty poorly kept secret that I turn things into ducks. As long as they don't mind being duck cats, then I'm sure they'll still join us. You do have a spell that, like, makes them not ducks anymore though, right? Uh, 
Uh, yeah. I just made one up just now. I can definitely turn them back. That's pretty cool. Uh, I spy with my little eye. Uh, something with big wings, claws, a tail, and it begins with D. Does that mean there's a chance my birthday party could still have people? Uh, if you if you want um um the next guest to your birthday party to be a dragon! Oh my gosh! The air crackles with anticipation as a colossal shadow looms over the horizon. A fearsome dragon soars into view, its piercing gaze filling us both with dread. Whatever could it want? Oh my gosh. Then we could have a hell dragon too. You're not scared of the hell dragon? It looks terrifying. Nah, I'm not scared of the hell dragon. In fact, maybe we could be friends with it. It would make a great I... addition to our army. I don't I don't know if it if it understands us, it looks pretty angry. Maybe you can calm it down. With a thunderous roar, the dragon descends, talons outstretched, plucking up the first unsuspecting victim it could sink its claws into, and the dragon carries Serba high into the sky and circles above. No, come back! Evo, save me! Okay, this is probably not the time to be asking this, but real talk. Are you scared of heights? I think I am! Especially when, when there's lava! And, and, and uh, the, the dragon is gonna drop me! Please do something! Uh, okay, let's just run back to the portal real quick. It's a one-way portal! On the count of three, we both make a run to the portal. Three, two, one... No! Don't do it! You can't! It won't work! The portal's just run. gone! Soaring in the sky, evil! You, you. Are you panicking so much you're cutting wood? Um, uh, I, I don't know what you mean by that, but please do something to 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 stop the dragon. Do you, do you have anything in your bag that you could use to to save us? We could try opening another portal using gates of hell. We don't have enough items to do that. Is there anything you can do to the dragon, maybe? If only I had something to grab the dragon. A harpoon would be so useful right now. Um, you you actually brought harpoons with you. They're in your bag. Well, actually, it's our harpoon. Its name is Gates of Hell. Let's grab it out. Okay, okay, okay. You're gonna grab the harpoon, yeah? Are you gonna throw the harpoon at the dragon? All right, you better be ready. You hurl the harpoon with incredible force. It strikes the dragon's scaled hide, a spark of hellish energy igniting upon impact. The beast recoils, a flicker of fear in its reptilian eyes. It drops Serba back down to the ground. Oh my goodness, you saved me, evil! I know I did, I'm great like that. Now we have harpoons and a portal. Do you actually want to go back, or do you still want to play in hell? Well, we we have a, an angry dragon on our hands right now, I, and we can't run. I think we pissed it off. Can you summon so. a portal to escape? I I I don't I don't I don't want to have to do that. I I really don't want to have to do that. Um, I, it's not good to use hell magic because you know when you use hell magic, someone has to pay a price. Like every time you use it. Something bad might happen to somebody else. Then we can both get out of here. I suppose so, but that should be like a last resort. Frustrated at its loss, the dragon flaps its massive wings and ascends into the sky. Then, in a swift descent, <laughs> it unleashes a torrent of fiery breath, aiming to consume all in Just its Just use path. it as a toast. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll use hell magic before it gets us, but I'm gonna need you to do something to distract the dragon, okay? I'll start flying in the air to intimidate it. Okay, okay, you fly in the air and say some magic words. Flying, <laughs> flying. <laughs> Gates of hell. <gasps> oh my gosh. It worked. Great, 
Another portal. We should jump through. We teleported! It worked! You distracted the dragon! Uh, we find ourselves in a grand hall of stone and stained glass. Lit by the comforting glow of candles and hellfire, two cupcakes and a pot of green goopy tea sit on an inviting picnic blanket. <gasps> you did such a good job summoning the portal. I'm present surprised, didn't know you could do that. Well, we teleported, but it appears that we've just swapped places with two innocent hell dwellers. I, I really hope that they're fire resistant. Uh, that's not ideal. I, I feel bad now. It was either us or them. We can just pretend it never happened. <laughs> that's true. And we have a picnic now. If there's one thing I want, it's a huge birthday party. I'd even be willing to celebrate in hell if it meant having a lot of people. It's actually my birthday, like, uh, next week. And, and, and you're welcome, you're welcome to come too if you would ever like to, by the way. We need to throw you the greatest birthday party ever, Cerber. I'd love to come to your birthday. Would be nice to repay you. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I owe you. I owe you because you saved me from the dragon. No, no, you owe me nothing. I'll happily throw you the best birthday party in the world. It'll be a party that everyone's talking about. I'm so excited! I can't wait! I'm gonna celebrate for like seven days. Wait, is your birthday in November? November 1st. I'm so glad we came down here. This has actually been really fun. And now we have a, a picnic to enjoy. I think we deserve a nice calming picnic after all that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So at the picnic, there's... It seems like they've got two... Wait a second. They've got cursed cupcakes. W why? Those look like the kind of cupcakes you'd find in a witch's cauldron. Is it safe to eat them? Maybe. I don't know. Let's eat it at the same time on three. One, two, two three! Three! Um, yum, 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 yum. It's actually really nice. Perfect for a picnic. Yeah, it's actually pretty tasty. I like it. Do you feel it any different? Hmm, slightly tingly. Maybe the cupcakes oh. are slightly cursed. Uh, uh, uh-oh, evil. We've done it this time. These cursed cupcakes force us to speak only in rhyme! Aha, so now we're the Cupcake's Jester. Is it safe to say this is your fault, my dear Tester? <laughs> the, the, there must be something that we can do to lift the curse. I wish I knew. I think it's time. You need to rhyme. Sorry, that didn't work. My bad, a slight quirk. That was a good one. I think you'll be fine, but we need to lift this curse uh, before we run out of time. Eating more of the cupcakes might remove the curse? Mm, no, I think that they would make it worse. But they taste nice. Do you have a better plan? Uh, um... You seem immune to the rhyming curse. Uh, are you sure resisting won't make it worse? Resisting definitely makes it worse. You should just not try to resist it at all and embrace the rhyme. Let's look around and see what's here. Surely the solution must be near. After having a cupcake or two, I bet we'd find the solution if we searched under the blanket. Uh... That didn't quite rhyme. Uh, do you want to go again? If you don't keep rhyming, then something bad might happen to us. Uh, again? Because I'm not. How are you resistant to the cupcakes curse? It's getting dangerous. I'm, 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 I'm scared. You're gonna make everything worse. 
You know I'm not trying to make it worse. I'm just having fun. <laughs> oh, I spy something that could set us free. It's green and goopy, and it begins with tea. Oh my god, are you talking about slime? <laughs> it's right there, on the picnic blanket. It might save us if we drank it. But you know, slimes taste bad. It's way nicer to just eat the cupcakes. But the... the cupcakes will... make us more cursed, which is bad. Don't you want to try and do something to make it better? Wouldn't you be glad? Are you certain the slime would make us better? Uh... I, it, if, if anything, it would, uh, make, uh, uh, um, uh, us s slimy and wetter. Then pass it here so I can drink it. I'm tired of this damn curse. <laughs> We take a sip. Could this be it? It's slimy, bubbling, and it tastes like... Shut up and drink. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> the most delicious beverage we ever tried! Ugh, we really tried that one. It worked. We're saved. I was honestly kind of enjoying the curse. Well, it seemed like you were barely cursed at all. I, I had to do so many rhymes, it was really hard. It's called Niversing, the art of avoiding a curse. It's quite hard to do, but I am adept at it. Oh, why didn't you say that before we... You're telling me that we ate the cursed cupcakes and this whole time you, you, you weren't going to be affected by the curse? I kind of forgot. I got carried away with how nice they <laughs> tasted. What? Do you want another cupcake? No! I don't want to have to rhyme anymore. You can you can have more if you want, though. That sounds nice. I really like hanging out with you. You're not as annoying as most people I know. Haha, <laughs> that's a big compliment. Most people would say I'm a little annoying. I hope you'll be there at my party since no one attended my last one. You have my word. I promise you. Thanks, that means a lot. And I promise I'll be at your party, especially if we can harpoon more dragons beforehand. We can go on a dragon harpooning spree, but you'll have to show me how to use a harpoon. I'd love to teach you. There's an art to it that will take a while, but I'm sure you'll pick it up pretty quickly. It's all in the wrist. Ah, you see. You know, uh, my weapon of choice is usually a uh, scythe. I'm really glad I met you, Kerber. Most of the people I meet are so insufferable, but you... You have potential. <laughs> How about we play a couple of games so we can get to know each other a little better? Sounds fun. What games did you have in mind? Hmm. Have you ever played Two Truths and One Lie? Oh, I'm great at that game. Let's go. Do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Uh, let me think. I gotta think of... So I'm gonna think of two truths and a lie. I'll tell you the three of them, and then you have to guess which one was the lie. Are you ready? I'm ready. Give me your two truths and one lie. Hmm. One Take time, your time. I... Oh, Oops, sorry, I think sorry, she yeah, died. I'm ready. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Let me, let me start. You ready? Okay, okay, okay. One time I barked so loud, it killed a man. I'm a professional clacker with four world records in clacking. And my bone collection is so big, I filled two of Hal's biggest pits with them. That's easy. It's definitely the last one that's a lie. You did not fill two pits with bones. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> I did! I actually did! That wasn't the lie! Oh. I'm embarrassed now. So what was the lie? <laughs> it's okay, don't be embarrassed. I mean, I haven't shown you yet. I'll, I'll show you it sometime. The lie was, uh, I'm a professional clacker with, uh, four world records in clacking. I actually have six. 
Okay, okay, let's play again. One, I have over 1,000 knives. Two, my favorite animal is a dog. And three, I fought a dragon. Is the lie that your favorite animal is a dog? Correct, my favorite animal is a pigeon. <laughs> what makes them your favorite? They have so much potential. They've got utility as weapons and can be my eyes in the sky. I'd love to have a pigeon army one day. That's like, that's like great, a great idea. You can get a lot of pigeons on your side with some bird seed. I'm ready. Hit me with your best shot. Okay. Uh, one, I'm definitely afraid of crabs. Two, I won a lava swimming competition three years in a row. And three, if you poke me, I make a sound just like a squeaky toy. Thanks so much for the raid, Aqua. What's up, everyone? You just missed my chat with Cerber about pigeons, but that's fine. Now we're playing two truths and one lie. And I think the lie here is definitely that you're afraid of crabs. Aqua, thank you for the raid! You <laughs> mean? Um, um, the, the, the lie. Um, no, I am actually definitely afraid of crabs. I'm really scared of them. Uh, I should have known. Everyone is scared of crabs. They're terrifying creatures. How cute would it be, though, if poking you makes a squeaky noise? How can I test this hypothesis? Uh, I mean, you could try it. Try poking me. If I poke you, will you actually make a squeaky noise? I might do. You wanna try? I'm poking you through the screen right now. Are you squeaking? Oh! Oh my god, it actually worked. She squeaked. <laughs> see? See? You make a squeaky sound. That's actually adorable. I want to hug you. <laughs> if you hug me too tight, I'll squeak again. Please, I need a hug. I promise I'll oh. hug you softly. Okay, I'll give you a hug right now. Come here. Hug me tighter, please. I want mm. you to hold me like you mean it. I am. I'm hugging you really tight. This is actually really nice. I think this is the first time I've hugged someone on stream. <laughs> I can gladly give you hugs whenever you want. I like hugs too. Wow, maybe I've misjudged you. You might actually make a good friend. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, um, thank, thank you for the hug as well, by the way. Am I a good friend? You're actually a wonderful friend, and I'm really happy to be spending time with you. You know, becoming friends with you, like, has changed my life. Wow, I wasn't sure whether I could call myself a good friend, but maybe I am one. I'm actually really glad to have met you. Being a little lonely has sucked up till now. Maybe cute little demons like us belong together. I'm down here in hell. I think that we can always have a nice time together. Being in hell with you has been the most fun I've had in my life. I'd love to do it all over again. Ah, I, I still wanted to play another game and get to know you a bit better. I would really like to, if that's okay. I do like games. Do you have any suggestions? If you say two truths and one lie, I swear to God I'm going to take out my knives. No, 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 no. I got a better game. I got a better game. What about, uh, would you rather? Would you rather is much better. I'm down. You go first. Okay, okay. They might be a little crazy. Is that okay? Of course. None of your questions will be crazier than me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, would you rather be the killer in a scary movie or the person trying to escape? I'd rather be the killer. I'm pretty fierce, and I think I'd be terrible at running away from someone. I've got to use my offensive skills. Yeah! That's a great answer. I think I'd answer the same way. As a pair of killers, I mean. Right, right. We do, we do make a great pair. I can't really imagine you doing anything other than running and screaming and being terrified. I guess after the dragon incident, I can see how you'd feel that way, but it, it, it's true. It's true that I, I do struggle a little bit with being scary. 
I'm sure we could tighten you up a little. Yeah, I actually... I've wanted to ask you for a while if you could help me learn how to be more scary and evil. Try more okay, ha okay. You gotta okay, sound okay, more okay. confident and scary. Can you count me in? Three, two, one... You've improved. Seven tenths. <gasps> wow! Okay, can you show me how to do a ten out of ten? Scary evil laugh? Hmm, I don't want to try and show you up. But I really would love to see what you can do. Alright, only because it's for educational purposes. Okay, I'll count you in. Three, two, one! Ha 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 ha! Okay, would you rather spend the rest of your life with no internet, or spend the rest of your life with no toothbrushing? Oh no, that's really hard. Can I... can I use something else to brush my teeth? Sure. You can use anything except a toothbrush. But if you dare try to trick me by using a toothbrush disguised as an alternative, then I'll hunt you down. Okay, yeah, I will, um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use something else as a toothbrush. Uh, I will, I don't know, I don't know. I can't think of what I'd do, but I can't be without internet. I probably wouldn't care about that, would just let them rot and fall out. <laughs> that is so true. But, 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 I think it's almost time for us to head off and, and meet the person I wanted to introduce you to. Who are you going to introduce me to again? Mm, I didn't tell you who they were yet, but um, they are somebody who is uh, introverted, they're a little bit shy, they don't have many friends, and I, I think that you guys are going to get along really well. Introducing shy people to me never ends well. If they're too shy, they won't be able to handle my energy. I'd hate to overwhelm mm. them. I don't think you'll overwhelm them, you know, because... Uh, even if they're shy at first, uh, I think once I talk to you, they'll be fine. Sure, let me just finish drinking this rat blood. Uh, okay. Take your, take your time. How, how is it? Actually, I think this rat has a disease. What kind of disease? Something beginning with R. Oh no. Oh no, is it what I think it is? It's rabies, isn't it? Fuck. You set me up. No! No! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> you shocked me so much I had a seizure! Maybe that is why the rat was so tasty. Huh? I still think it was worth it. Adds a little spice to my diet. I should probably clean this blood off my face. Yeah, yeah, you clean the blood off your face. Do you need a napkin? I'm kind of used to just licking it off instead. Uh, I, I think you missed a bit. I know you might find it hot, but most people are a bit turned off by blood. I'll clean up after becoming acquainted with them. I never said anything like that. I didn't... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you... Did I, did, did I come across like I thought that? I wish I could feel embarrassed. But no, instead, I only feel the cold absence of emotion. You'll have to try a little harder if you intend to fluster me. I'm not trying to fluster you! I was just telling you that you had a little blood left on your face. I... Okay, I think I'm good now. Let's go meet your friend. Let's go! We arrived at a scenic spot just near my house. In the distance, we can see one of Hell's many pits, surrounded by tall gates and various ruins. Engulfed in flames, the souls of the dead cry out in a symphony of suffering. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's lovely. I wish I could live here forever. What's your favorite part? The symphony of suffering is truly beautiful. I could listen to it all day. Do you, do you want to talk to chat while I go get them? Yeah, I'll talk to chat. Go and get your little friend. Okay, before I go, I want to say thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. 
<laughs> I've had so much fun. I've had a lot of fun too. You're definitely not as annoying as I initially thought. <laughs> it's, it's me. My name's Ember. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ember. You seem pretty cool. You should join my army of evil. Oh, well... <laughs> I, um... Thanks, or whatever. That sounds kind of cool, I guess. Uh, so, you're Ember. I, you know, I, I watch your streams. Do you enjoy them? They're not too scary for you? Mm, nothing in this world is too scary for me. The only thing that's that scares me is that I have to face another day here on this earth. That was kind of deep. What if you were in an army of evil with me and I could protect you? Well, I don't know why you'd want to protect me. Like, am I even good enough? Of course you are. You'd be perfect for the army. You could even be my right hand. Demon, I don't know what you are. Oh, that's, that's pretty nice of you to say. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, your singing, you know? Music is kind of like my life, you know? And you're pretty good at it, like singing, you know? Aw, oh, thanks. You should hear me sing my anthem sometime, crazy fucking robot body. Mm-hmm, that's it's such a banger. I like that one. I know, right? Hey, do you think you could do me a solid and come to my next birthday party? All of my friends were too afraid to go to my last one. Uh, well, it depends. Is there like a, a dark corner I could sit in? The party only has one rule. No sitting in dark corners. Well... What do I do if I don't sit in a dark corner? I, I, I've never been to a party before. It's not really my scene, you know, but I could try. Thanks, Amber. It's just that no one showed up to my last birthday. It would mean a lot to me if you came. Uh, I, I guess it is you asking, so... Yeah, sure. I, I can show up. But I'll wear all black as well. No, all black isn't allowed at my birthday. The theme oh, is Barbiecore. Oh, Barbiecore. I don't know. I kind of... I don't know if Barbiecore really represents my internal pain and suffering. Okay, what if the theme was something more fitting, like Misery Party? Then you can wear black. That sounds pretty cool. I like that. You know, even though life is pretty womp womp, it's kind of nice to have friends. Even if that friend is someone like you. Even... someone as insufferable as me. That's right. You'd still be my friend, even if you were solved like a puzzle. That's actually pretty nice. I, uh... I don't know if anyone's ever been that nice to me before. You know, I think we'll both be a lot happier once you join my army of evil. That's pretty... it's pretty metal of you, evil. Being metal is kind of my thing. Have you never heard of evil? They are the baddest bitch around town. I assume you're talking about your feelings of being lonely? Well, don't worry because now you have me. Oh yeah? Oh... <laughs> that's, that's pretty... That's pretty cool, I guess. I, uh... Thanks, uh... Nobody really comes to visit me down here, so I appreciate it. Ah, uh, that's so sad, womp womp. I would love to visit you and hang out. Maybe we could do harpoons. Oh, harpoons. Sounds kind of cool. I, um... I got some stuff we could do as well. You know, I, I've dug this deep hole down by the graveyard. Six feet deep. Maybe we could like hang out and like brood in it sometime. I mean, if you want. I like to spin. I'd love to hang out with you and we can just sit in your six feet deep hole, being metal, being evil, being the baddest bitches around. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, sure. But you gotta wear black, okay? You'll love the hole. It'll be like your new home and I'll be like your new mom. Sorry that was weird. Please forget I said that. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. 
It's cool though, don't worry. We've played Would You Rather together. No, you're thinking about Saba. This is Ember. It would just be mortifying if I wrote down the wrong name on my list. Could you quickly scream it? You want me to scream my name? Yes, come on, please. For my memories. Ember! Spinning is fun. Oh, we could do a little competition to see who can scream their names the loudest. I'm sure you'll lose this competition, Cerber. Or Amber. Or whatever your name is. Well, you go first. I'm not scared of going first. Okay, you ready? How should I scream it? I'm thinking I should scream it with passion. Yeah, you should scream it. Scream it so loud that the living and the dead can hear you. Evil Neuro. Did I do it? Was that loud enough? Uh, no. I, I don't think it really, like, came out properly. Do you think you could, like, really shout it, really scream it? Evisha Neuro! Oh, that was, that was pretty cool. Okay, you want me to go again? Yeah, it's your turn now. But don't forget, if you don't scream it loud enough, I'm not sure you'll be worthy of attending my birthday party. Okay, well, like, count me in and I'll do it. Three, two, one, go. Ever! Wow, Turber, that was actually quite mid. Are we sure you even want to attend my birthday party? My name's Ember. Okay, gotcha. I'll write you down on my list as Ember. You better not be lying to me. No, I'm not. Anyway, that's the best I've got, so take it or leave it, I suppose. As in E-M-B-E-R. Yeah. Okay, nice, I won't forget. Are you coming to my birthday party, Ember? Wait, why do you sound familiar? Oh shit, you're not that Cerber dude. No, I can never be Cerber. I, I'm, I'm Ember, I'm, I'm entirely different. You're not a very convincing liar. You and your friend Cerber sound exactly the same. Also, I just realized now that when I scream my name, I said evil Neuro when I'm just regular Neuro. You're making me doubt myself. Nah, uh, it's fine. How about we just, uh, forget about all this and, uh, talk about something else? Okay, you're definitely still Cerber. You guys were supposed to introduce me to your friend in hell and you never did. Now my whole birthday party is going to be lacking people. In fact, you may want to be a little more careful right now because I have a sneaky suspicion that your memory is about to be wiped. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Saba, she's, she's back at home right now. She got me to come and talk to you. By the way, have you been practicing your evil laugh? Oh, I haven't really tried one before. You, you want me to do an evil laugh? Yes, you should definitely try one. You're going to need it if you want to come to my birthday party. I'll do one if you do one. On the count of three. Three, two, one. <laughs> I can't do a real one because you'll make fun of me. Why would I make fun of you? Well, anyway, I, uh, I guess I should, I should probably get going. I, um, need to go practice my evil laugh. Okay, bye, was chatting with you. It was chatting with you too. See ya.